But this was a close fight. This was a real banger. And in classic Ponzinibbio fashion, um, it felt like he starts off slow, but he always turns it into a war. If Ponzinibbio is going to win these fights, it has to be a dog fight. And at first, I don't think he was able to make it a dog fight. But come round three, that was a pure blood and guts. Who wants it more? And that's the problem, though, with the Ponzinibbio, man, is that those slow starts often will put you in a hole that you're going to have to make up. And by the time round three comes, it's just you don't have enough time. But when we look at total strikes, AJ, Paeta outlanded Ponzinibbio 110 to 106. So it was like a fast start for Paeta, but then Ponzinibbio, he rallied, rallied back like he always does, man. When it comes down to just the nature of a Michel Paeta and what he's able to do to nullify the offense of his opponents, how big he is, the frame he is. Um, I mean, listen, now he's got to be top 15, and we'll talk about that more a little bit later. But given the nature of like his style... Who can beat this man right now? You know what I mean? Like, what do you have to do to beat him? Because Ponzinibbio put it all out there. Ponzinibbio came as close to anybody has recently, really, to beating Paeta. So what do you make of it? I think you have to you have to start fast, start strong. Hit him first hard and then let him kind of work off the back foot, almost like a Fialho did. Um, and, I, and I think, yeah, I think Fialho actually lost that fight, too. So even that aspect is hard as well. But um, he, uh, he has this, this, this uh, Piet Payet, excuse me, has this style where if you let him get a, get ahead, just like Ponzinibbio did, where Ponzinibbio went with a snowball method, if I'm going to start slow, I'm going to build up, I'm going to build at the end, I'll have all this momentum going forward. Pereira has the exact right style to stop all of that, man, to nullify all of that. He's going to be the fast one. He's going to be the one hitting you hard right in the beginning, controlling all that, and then going through. He's going to know at the end, okay, I've already banked two rounds. I'm just going to be elusive, not let this guy hit me, man. Put this all out in a war. Oh, well, this guy doesn't have the power or the speed to hit me anymore because we already fought 10 minutes. So I, that's a hard one, man. It's a hard uphill battle. If you go and you start that early, you start the big snowball early, hit him hard, hit him fast, get him to the ground, tire him out, get those big muscles going, he's not going to have that explosion, ideally, because he, he's actually getting a lot better, and he probably might have that explosion. Very, very dangerous fighter, Pereira. Um, but I think that's one of the only ways. How do you see it? Is there anything else I'm missing? Well, I think if Ponzinibbio would have done one thing, I think he had a much better shot of actually taking over and uh, really like solidifying, maybe putting out Paeta, because Paeta looked a little tired in some of those, some some aspects. He caught a second win, but I thought that you gotta you gotta hit the body you really have to target the body of a of a michel paeta to really slow him down because paeta did that to ponzinibbio and i think that's kind of why he was able to maintain where he was at because body strikes 42 of 56 for paeta uh 13 of 18 for ponzinibbio so ponzinibbio was really just head hunting he was hitting some leg strikes and all that but yeah i think that's what you got to do especially in this small cage paeta likes to dance around you got to cut him off corner him and either try to take him down use some ground and pound or just beat up that body man and uh, make it a war of attrition but this was i mean this was a real testament right here i believe aj that michelle paeta is a bona fide top 15 fighter bona fide you know what i mean like you beat ponzinibbio lest we forget ponzinibbio was literally a dude who people talked about being the next champion of the welterweight mm -hmm. division so the last question i have for you is that given that paeta is so large right because the, the size difference was was on display through and through right there given that uh michelle paeta is so large do you think that's going to be a detriment when it comes down to all right now you're getting up there main eventing five round fights i mean his style doesn't necessarily bode well i think for the long distance marathons because it's always the end of the fight that he's always kind of losing a little bit but the beginning he starts out really strong so what do you think of that yeah, he's a sprinter all day long, yeah. man. That's uh, if he's not the five k or the 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 ten k marathon runner. Ah, uh, yeah, dude. Especially once you get really up into those top, like the upper echelon of the division, where you're fighting the wrestlers. You know, the people that are gonna hold you down, wear you out, and then next thing you know, you're on your feet, start of the round, huffing and puffing, mm -hmm. and they're right there on your hips again. Yeah, especially it's gonna be hard, uh, especially in those late rounds too. Once he starts fighting main events, fourth, fifth, those are those are a whole another level. And Paeta's already having a hard time hitting the the deep distance in the three rounders, yeah. you know. So I can see a big hole coming, but if, you know, maybe he may get on that uh, uh, Gilbert Durino style of training, and we'll yeah. see, we'll see. Well, maybe he can afford it with that 50K bonus that he got right there, man. So he can definitely afford that. But a uh, big win by Michel Paeta, and like I said, we're gonna be talking about him a little bit more in one second. <laughs>